Hello everyone, it's video blog time. Uh, just to get to the point, uh, last year there were there were two video blogs that I you know uploaded to my YouTube channel, and after some months I I deleted them. Uh, now they were they weren't too close together. I want to say I say the first I want to say the first one was at the end of 2017, and then the second one was maybe a little after somewhere in 2018. And I deleted them for a few reasons, uh, and, and it's really not even about that. Uh, I deleted them because I, I didn't really like the tone of them. I kind of feel I kind of felt like they sounded too a little too aggressive and a little too. I don't know. Maybe they just they just had the wrong delivery. Maybe, uh, but after you know, I don't know. Just several months after deleting them, I realized I realized I shouldn't have deleted them. Deleted them. I mean, if anything, I should have just put them as uh, private for a little bit to think about it and then uh, relist it, you know, as public. Uh, but I, I, I rarely ever do that where I just delete a video. Uh, now, the, the, the thing is I don't have those videos anymore. So I, I can't just re-upload them. Uh, just to make room on, on my phone, I, I tend to delete my video blogs. I probably shouldn't do that, but I, I do. Uh, so I don't have those anymore. And there's a third video blog that I, I was gonna make and I ended up not making it because of the reasons where, well, well I deleted those. So this one doesn't make any sense anymore. So I, I stopped going forward with that third video blog. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, I want to redo those three video blogs. Um, just, to, just because now that I've, I've had time to think about it, I'm like, I really like the messages I was trying to give in those three video blogs. But, but this time around, I'm gonna do them way shorter and to the point, just to know that those messages are on my YouTube channel. So. With that said, I'm not gonna repeat that whole thing on the next two, so uh, the video blogs will just stand on their own. Uh, if, if you watch this video blog, then uh, the next three video blogs are the video blogs that should still should be on my YouTube channel, but weren't, but aren't because I deleted the first two and the third one just, I never did. So here we go. First one was, welcome to the age of DIY music. Now, I, I originally released this one in, late 2017. It's somewhere right before the video, uh, there's the a video that did pretty well, uh, a video blog about the five things that a, a do-it-yourself artist should not do. It was right before that. So I was on a roll at that point, uh, so I, sh I should have just kept it. But anyways, uh, this message was meant for that little moment in between those that, that period. So, uh, but I'll say it now. And actually, the funny thing about it is it's more it makes more sense now, in 2019. I gotta think about it. Um, so, welcome to the age of do-it-yourself music. Now, I know that there's an industry of music that is doing the same that as it has it, as it's always done. Um, where's my drink? Did I bring it in? Oh, here it is. Still drinking my carbonated water. There is an industry, a music industry that's doing the same as it always has. Uh, I know that. Uh, but what's really caught my attention lately that really, and, and this is actually the reason why I decided to, let's get these video blogs back on the channel. I mean, the ideas of them at least. Um, I was scrolling through Instagram and I mentioned this, I mentioned this on a video blog very recently when I was talking about bad promotion. Uh, if it's good promotion, you know. Uh, scrolling through my Instagram and I, I just started noticing like there are sponsored content ads every four posts i mean that's that's a lot that's a lot i don't know if people can take that in i mean i don't i know i know some people are doing very well because i see the numbers granted i don't know how much they're spending so you know some some things do hit and so there's that to consider but there is a lot now while this may sound like it's bad for the artist because there's so much saturation so much art out there uh it's bad for the industry in my opinion because, oh, when I say industry, I mean the record labels. For the record labels, I don't know how good that is because you gotta imagine, like, when they release, and I, I know that record labels make a lot more money off of just music nowadays, there's 360 deals where, where they make money off the merch and, and who knows what. Um, so I know there's that, but let's just say record releases, right? Album releases, uh, which is, you know, record label records. So uh, let's, let's, let's think about that for a little bit. Every year, 
all the labels that are associated within the music industry, which, you know, record labels in general, uh, they release a certain amount of albums every year. Each uh, label releases however many they want to release. Sometimes it's four or five, um, less maybe. Uh, for the majors, it's obviously more because they're a lot bigger. But So there's a certain amount of albums that come out every year. They make a certain amount of money every year, right? Uh, some of it, some of that is profit. I, I don't even know how that works, really, to be honest anymore. But they make a lot of money from albums. Uh, well, I think I can go back all the way to MySpace, right? Where MySpace was, there was a lot of stars made on MySpace that, that ended up getting picked up by the industry. And I, by this by this point, a lot of them are prob probably unsigned. But, uh, and, and we're having good careers, running good careers because of maybe a hit song or two songs. Um, but anyways, MySpace to me was that big start. It was, you know, the whole MP3 thing. And uh, uh, MySpace had a lot of tools that a band could use, an art that an artist could use. I mean, stuff you have to pay for now. MySpace, you could just do it for free, right? Uh, fans were made on MySpace. Uh, it was a very good platform for music, for unsigned artists. But move along, Facebook, uh, not not nowhere near as good. It, it kind of felt way more handcuffed. I'll never forget that when I got my Facebook and I was like, all right, I'm gonna send some friend requests, right? That's that's how you did it on MySpace. And they're like, wait, wait, oh, on Facebook, you kind of have to know the people. So you know, obviously that takes away. You know, when you had my, if you're old enough to have had a my to have had a MySpace, you remember getting endless friend requests from bands, right? Uh, so, but but it wasn't that frowned upon. People would find artists they liked. And now, you fast forward to 2019, people are a little more. All right, we've seen a lot more now at this point. Um, you know, uh, we're not. I don't think people are looking for bands as much anymore as they were maybe during the MySpace days because it was also new. You know. Uh, so people are a little bit more jaded, I guess you could say, at this point. Uh, uh, but now, I'm like, well, okay, because it's sponsored content, and now, I, I, what I found is with, sponsor, with sponsored content, I, I used to find that it would, it, tend, it would tend to be good artists because people have to spend money on, on it, and that tends to separate serious artists from the not-so-serious artists. But that's not necessarily true once it gets rolling, because now it's like, well, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are, uh, money will get you that one thing that you don't have eyes on your art so there's a lot of it people so now basically I'm, I'm noticing that the quality of it has gone down a little bit you never know what you're gonna run into uh, they, they t I think they tend to go by uh, you know tag words that they think you would like so uh, for me I get nothing but but music on my timeline on and I, and I mean Instagram mainly I don't, I, don't, I don't even pay attention to, to the ads on I don't pay attention to the ads on Facebook, really. Uh, but Instagram, every four uh, posts that you follow, here comes a sponsored. Uh, it's usually a music video or something from an artist, but it's gotten way more like, sometimes it's just a, like a selfie uh, camera version of, 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 of a, like a song that someone's playing, you know, just right there. Uh, and some have a lot of plays. So, but, but my point here is that at the end of the year, and it took me a while to get to it, I'm sorry. Um, at the end of the year, I have to imagine that with the amount of like, you know, slicing and dicing, picking here that's going on with the sponsored content, a big slice of the pie has to be going to unsigned artists now. I, I do believe that. I don't know. I don't have the numbers, but it's a lot of content in people's faces. You know, like people are going to see these things. Some people, it's a small amount, but some people will click into these sponsored ads and the good ones will get fans. And at the end of the day, at the end of the year, that's gonna, you know, that's a, instead of buying, you know, so-and-so's artist on, uh, you know, um, Atlantic Records, you bought this guy's self-funded album, who's not on a label. That's something. And I think now, because of this, this, sort, of, this, this sort of thing where, and here's another thing. You know what, let me finish my thought. Uh, that's the thing, like, it, it's giving hope to everybody that wanted to have a career in music. It really is like maybe maybe not everybody, but anyone who's paying attention is like, well, wait, wait, I can still have my job. I can still put money into this, or I can still try. I'm st I'm seeing guys and, and, and uh, men and women in their in their in their sixties on sponsored content, like playing playing songs, and people don't care. Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean in a good way. People don't care that they're older. Like, see, that was a, that was a, that was a miss to me for the for the record industry, and and and, and you know what? I get it. Like, when you're trying to make an artist, you want to make these career artists, right? It's best to start when they're pretty young because 
Then people get to know them as they grow. And by the time they're in their 30s, they're legends. In their 40s, they're just at the top of their game. And they're just legends. But doesn't it feel like that's not how it is anymore? Like, because of what, because of this new, we're in this new culture now where, like, celebrities, they get roasted pretty bad, you know? Uh, sometimes for good reason. Sometimes we're just mean, I guess, right? Uh, I mean, they are people. They are people, so. Uh, but but uh, I, I do feel that that is kind of an old way of doing things. Like, I don't think people care. Just sign people that are good, you know? And that may not fit what they want. I mean, so, so at the end of the day, I'm DIY. I choose DIY. And lots of people, I think, I mean, it's not like I have a choice. I mean, you know, Atlantic Records is knocking on my door uh, and, and, you know, the independent record labels are not knocking on my door. I'm not sending them packages. I'm not sending them emails. I'm not uh, chasing them anymore. If it fell in my lap, well, you know, that's that's kind of cool. But uh, I think for the foreseeable future, I see DIY as my future. And, I, and I'm fine with that because I like freedom. And I've said this a million times, but I see more people thinking like that now. And it's going to take a while. But if you look at if you look back at my first video blog, it was about this about this exact same thing, and I've and I've talked about it a lot. It tends to be my main theme with video blogging. Uh, in in the first video blog I mentioned, January two thousand seventeen, I talked about, uh, and no, I do not look any younger in that video blog. <laughs> just just saying. Uh, so okay, the, my point being, I, I was saying, uh, uh, yeah. You can make that decision. Uh, uh, you can make that decision for yourself whether I look older uh, two years later. Uh, just don't tell me. <laughs> anyway, so in that video blog, uh, I, I talk about uh, how I I I I see the big industry merging a little bit, and not necessarily merging, but coexisting with the DIY community. That's what I talk about in that first one. And if you go down to my video blog, it technically isn't the first one. You you'll see it's the second one because uh, I ended up uploading an, a very old a vlog that I made, and I, I thought I put it first, but the real first video blog is, is the second one. Uh, so I talk about that, and I look, I, look, I look now to today, and I think, I think I was right with that, because I see it for me now. Uh, I, this is my life, I live it, I breathe it, you know, uh, and I do see that happening now. More people are saying, well, hey, screw it, I'm gonna jump on this train. I wanna release my music. Who needs a label to release your music? I can, I can, people can still see it, you know? Now, that doesn't mean people give it the same respect. That's why I say it's a growing community. Uh, whether it's a community, uh, that, you know, that, that's another subject for another day. Uh, in other words, it's not like the, it's a community of musicians that are like, you know, it's not a scene. It, we don't know, we don't all know each other, you know? It's just, it's one for themselves. Uh, whether we can make friends in the DIY community, well, that's up to you. That and that's a good practice. You know that that would probably be a very good be would be a very good thing to do, because uh, that could help for shows, uh, touring together, uh, support when you go to someone else's town if you know people. So that's good. That's networking. That's 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 all within the world of DIY and and the big world of music. Uh, but it, it my, my my point being is that it's there. The art is there. It, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to boom more and more and more. People aren't going to start with stop with sponsored content. You're going to keep going. You're going to keep seeing more and more and more people uh, uh, trying to live out their dreams uh, on social media. Uh, now, the only thing to happen now is, is, is the pe to, for people to be aware of it on the other end. Uh, I, I guarantee a big slice of the pie at the end of the year is going to unsigned artists. It needs to be bigger. It will be bigger. There's no doubt because people are going to start uh, fighting for attention, uh, and what I mean by that is people are going to be creative with getting attention, like I talked about in the bad promotion, it's good promotion vlog, like people are going to start getting a little bit more, uh, you know, taking it serious, you know, to, to, to just release content, release content, to sell music, music on your own, It's it's been done, people have been doing it, but it's now really taking shape, I think, uh, as, a, as an art form, to be an artist on your own, so... With that said, that's, I think that'll do it for this video blog. Uh, it's, we are now in that age of do-it-yourself music. The big industry is still there, but the option is now more than ever here. So if you're a musician, go for it. Look into how you can 
promote your music the best way possible and that and the sky is the limit when it comes to that like it, that's up to you uh, and, and for the people that, that maybe are not musicians but enjoy music uh, it's here you know there's there's music far more than you can ever ever need you know it's there and uh, yeah consume it you know listen to it listen to the big artists listen to the small artists uh, that's it welcome to the age of DIY, DIY music until next time rock on